Well, excuse the dark video, but my system just died. So now I gotta figure out what happened. Uh, one lesson before we even begin is this is a great example of why you need to keep a backup light near your system. Because when your system dies, you're not gonna be able to see anything. So I don't know what happened, but I have um, taken the batteries offline. I've taken my charge controllers offline. And of course, my inverter is offline. But I came in here and it was just completely dead. So uh, this is going to make for a fun video. Unfortunately, a really crappy day, but I get to figure out what happened. Right now, I'm hoping it's something as simple as a fuse. Maybe this T-Class fuse blue. Maybe uh, one of these blue. I'm not sure what it is. But um, that's what I'm going to be doing now is figuring out what happened. So um, troubleshooting begins. I'm going to start by showing you that the batteries are fine. See, I put it on um, the other side of my inline fuse, and you can see 26.5. And all three of the batteries are about 26.5. And um, it shows that the batteries themselves are fine. They have energy. They have a decent voltage. And the inline fuses are not the problem because I'm on the other side of the fuse. So step one. And we get to figure out what the problem is, but we know that the three batteries are decent. So my theory is, is that my T-Class fuse blew. So I'm going to test that real quick with my meter. And just as I suspected, I'm not getting anything coming through. See, see there should be something like that touch these two either side so you can see they're on there now and there's nothing going through so it looks like uh, my problem is as simple as my fuse blew um, I do have a backup so I'm gonna replace it and see if that helps so here's my new fuse fortunately I have a backup sometimes it can be hard to find so it's good to have a backup now I'm just gonna unbolt and replace it all right so the new fuse is installed and you can see they do it now now it changes so um, now I'm going to hook up a battery and see if I can get any juice again I apologize for the low light but I don't have any light in here because all my solar is out all right so that's hooked up fuse is good let's turn on a charge controller see what we get all right light came on connecting and it's fine so I'm going to power up all of these a quick tip turn your charge controllers on first before you turn your solar panels on so I'm going to turn them all on you see them lighten up And they all are happy. You can see this symbol means that my solar is off. So now that's the next step is I'm going to turn some solar on. And that's the one I turned on. And you can see the icon changes to a solar panel. So now I'm going to turn them all on. And you can see they change to the solar panel symbol. And it's about 1230, so there should be some solar energy coming in. Um, you know, it's almost Halloween, so it's not a ton of solar, but you can see it's a bright sunny day. And you can see there's already solar energy coming in. So now for the big test. I'm going to turn the circuit breaker back on that connects my inverter. That's a good sign. You heard the little inverter growl. Now let's turn the inverter back on. And of course my inverter is fine. These Genry in inverters are killer. Now let's see if we can apply a load. Load! We are back! So, what happened was my T-Class fuse blew. 
I don't know why. That seems strange that uh, that blew and nothing else blew first, but uh, that's what it's for. But um, I'm back up and running. Everything looks good. We got solar energy coming in. Decent amount of solar energy for this time of year. We've got a little bit of load going out. So these fuses are expensive, but that's this is the cheapest part of my system. So if you want something to give out, you want your fuses to give out. So if uh, anyone out there has a story about a fuse going out or a component failing, please leave a comment below. Love to hear your story. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, that's it for me. It looks like I'm back up and running. A little bit of a scare. But um, just got to go order a couple more fuses now. Thanks for watching.